On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is up guys and welcome to another on drop rate episode. In the last one we did some bandos, we almost completed the entire log in just 250 kills, except for the pet of course, but we got every single unique otherwise than that. So that was pretty lucky, but in this one I did say we we're going to be doing a Slayer boss to begin with at least and see how it goes. And the first boss we're going to be doing for this video is Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. And the item we're going for is the Occult Necklace. And the reason why I'm saying the first boss is because this is a 1 in 350 drop rate. So if with the Bracelets of Slaughter, which I have a lot of in my bank, I can do this in two tasks. And I might get really lucky and get it right away two tasks and complete it super fast or I might get really unlucky and it takes a long time between the tasks, I guess we will have to see. Now when it comes to gear, this is my setup. I'm actually using a Blood Amulet of Fury because this extends my trips by a lot from my experience, so it's very nice. Even though it is kind of expensive, it's worth it in my opinion. And for special attack weapon, I'm using a Crystal Halberd. I was actually going to try Dragon Claws, but I checked the Grand Exchange. They are 90 million, so I'm just not going to do that right now. And I'll be happy with a Crystal Halberd anyways, but uh, let's get into it. Now when it comes to drops for this boss, my luck overall on this has been very strange. I've got 1442 kills, and I've got 2 occult necklaces, which is very unlucky by this KC. But I've got 7 smoke battle staffs, which is very very lucky, and they're worth a lot more. So let's see if that continues, and I do not get any occult necklace, and I might get some smoke battle staffs, then I have a giveaway to do. So let me go ahead and explain how I'm going to be doing this. So I start off with a Crystal Halberd spec, basically doing 100 damage in one hit, very nice. And between every single hit, I walk under the boss, because that boss attacks twice as fast as I do. And if you walk under it, you can basically mitigate one hit. You see, I'm taking one hit between every single hit that I do, but if you would just tank it, you would take two hits between every one that you do. And you can actually not protect against this boss, so you just have to tank the damage. And when the boss is about to die, I swap to the Bracelet of Slaughter to get the effect. By the way, if you do not know what the Bracelet of Slaughter does, it has a chance, like a 25% chance, to not consume one of the kills for your task. So let's say I had 150 kills left on the task, I equip the bracelet, it has a chance to stay at 150 even though I kill the boss. And you can see here I think I will get hit twice by the boss in just a second, or maybe it already happened. But uh, if you stay out too long, you will get hit twice by it instead of once. Now there is an alternative method that I see a lot of high tier PVMers do, and they only bring prey potions, no food at all, but this is a bit too intense for me. It's basically just to do the same method I'm doing, but basically only heal through redemption, because it hits so fast. I'm just going to tank damage now to show you guys, and I will go down, because the max hit of the boss is actually 8, so you can never really die if you have redemption on, and I'm not really getting hit anything right now, but let's see if I do get hit. There you go, redemption, you drink one prayer pot and you do that again. And you only really heal through this way, but uh, I'd rather just have full HP the whole time and have my piety on and not really have to carry too much and just walk under it all the time. Oh, right, I'm on a Slayer task. I can get Brimstone Keys, something I didn't even think about. Maybe do an on-drop rate for that in the future as well. Brimstone Chests could be interesting, maybe. Oh yes, my favorite drop. Nothing. Of course this happens to me. Dude, in all these kills before, as I said, I've only got two of them. And that's the third one. We're like 70 kills in. The loot is on the screen right now. Man, I kind of don't want this to happen. I've won all of the recent challenges, and I kind of want to do a giveaway soon. We're going to do another challenge now though, but that's that one done. So lately I've been doing a lot of combats, and I feel like it's time 
for a switch up. We are actually going to be doing a first clue scroll on drop rate. And what clue scrolls I'm going to be doing is the easy clue scrolls and the item I'm going for is the willow composite bow which is 1 in 360 but because you get 3 rolls on the easy clue scroll table every single time you open a casket the average drop rate is 1 in 120. The reason why I picked this one it's because it's not worth a lot and I do not have it on the collection log and compared to the amulet Omatic T with the same drop rate, I do already have four of them. The tried and true method of getting easy clue scrolls for a main account is of course buying the gourmet implings. They're pretty expensive so I'm not really expecting to be making money in this unless I get really lucky I guess with like Cape of Skulls and stuff like that which are worth 10 million per one. But I'm going to be buying 3000 of these, that should be about the drop rate of getting 120 of the easy clue scrolls. But of course I might have to buy more, we will have to see, but uh, most likely not going to be making a lot of money here. They are very expensive, but uh, it's the fun thing that matters. Mother Moll exactly for 5k GP, so that's a very nice 15 million coins. And I will keep all the loot tracked for the gourmet implings that I actually get from opening them as well, so we can calculate everything together at the end. I'm so happy I actually built all the stashes on that goblin video I did when I did like 60 easy clue scrolls or something. I don't actually remember exactly, but it's such a nice convenience to be able to just put the items in here and go for the next one. We are now at the halfway point, 60 easy caskets done, and I'm going to have a look at the bank and see how many implings we still have left. So let's have a look here, 1443, so almost exactly halfway of the implings used, so that's pretty good. It looks so good in the inventory, 100 easy caskets, 20 more to go so we're not quite done. But I have to go to my bank and see how many implings I still have, I don't know if I will have to buy more or not. I mean 466, yeah on drop rate I should be getting 19 I think, so uh, yeah there's still a good chance I don't have to buy more of them. Well look at that, I have 31 of these implings left, which is uh, one easy clue scroll on drop rate and I only need one more to actually get 120. So I might not have to buy more and if I do have to buy more it's going to be a very minor amount. By the way, when it comes to all the impling loot, the rune light tracker have actually not calculated everything and counted all of them in. I think from 3000 it's like 2.5-2.6k it counted. And uh, most of the money that you get back from these implings is just the jars. This is almost all the money. And then sometimes you get these grubby keys, which is like 50k each. So that is also a good amount of the money. And there it is. That's the last easy clue scroll. So we do not need to buy any more implings. But it was almost exactly on the rate. So that is a very nice to see. But um, when it comes to the implings, I am really only going to be selling back the impling jars and the grubby keys. Because collecting all the bass and everything would be way too much work and not really worth anything. So I sold everything, we can go into the history and you can see all the things right here and I got back 4.6 million and I spent 15 million on the implings themselves so that means I have to get back 10.4 million from the easy clue scrolls to actually get money back but that is not what I care about, I want the willow composite bow and collection slots in general would be very nice so let's go ahead and open all of these and see if we win the challenge or if we lose it. Now before we get into this, I feel like it's kind of important to show the collection log. 206 overall and we have the Cape of Skulls out of all the team capes and 42 out of 131 collection log slots. And the item we're going for is the Willow Composite Bow which will be a collection log pop-up. How I'm going to be doing this is I'm just going to show the highlights, the unique items, the pop-ups and the rest of it I will not show. And of course if we get the Willow Composite Bow I will show that. Please let me know some feedback for the future of Clue Scroll videos if you want to see everything just raw footage. It would be a longer video but uh, less entertaining in my opinion so I'm just for this one going to show the highlights so let's get on with it. Oh first collection log item imp mask 10 easy clue scrolls in and uh, you can see in the chat these are not valued at too much so making the money ma back might be pretty hard. Right away armadillo robe legs after that 80k not too bad. Oh, red beret, another collection log item. I think most of the money that we get in this is going to be from purple sweets. They are pretty consistent. And also these teleports, 95k, that's not bad at all. Okay, I was actually going to go for this item initially for the challenge, Amulet of Magic T, because it has the same drop rate as the composite bow. But if we go and look here, the reason why I didn't pick it is because I already had this collection log item in the slot. And now I have five of them, so that would have been the challenge done already, but uh, for this time, we have not won yet. 
Blackberry, very nice. Um, I have actually got a lot of unique items if we go in here. I've got like black wizard robe T, G, some more Saradomin items, bronze fall MG, but I already had all of them, so they were not new uniques. But that is a new unique, Bod, Bod, Bob red shirt. Not really worth anything, I would assume, 30k, so yeah, but not too bad. Oh, I did not have the recording on there, but Steel Kite Shield G, another unique item. It's not worth much, but uh, always nice to get these collection log items. Maybe sometime in the future, I will complete the entire easy collection log. Alright, so we are down to 50 easy caskets. We have not got the Willow Composite Bow yet, but we of course still have a decent chance of getting it, so we can still win the challenge. Oh, another item. Blue Wizard Hat T. That is 73k. Yeah, so I would assume it's for free to play. Oh my god. There it is. Willow Composite Bow. I actually don't know how much money we've made from these easy clues yet. I have to have a look. And the loot is on the screen right now. We opened 81 caskets to get the Willow Composite Bow. And we only made 2.15 million so far. We still have 39 of them left to go. And we will open all of them. But that means I am back Quite a lot of money, like 8 million right now, just buying the implings. But at least I get to keep what I actually am going to get from these, which is very nice. I've won pretty much all the challenges, so we haven't really done like a giveaway in 4 videos or something. So maybe I can lose a challenge in the near future. Kinda wanna do a giveaway soon. Wow, Master Clue Scroll from an easy clue. That has to be pretty rare. And on top of that, Iron Plate Body G, which is worth 400k for some reason. Uh, I think it's the same as the wizard items, probably free to play. Oh my god, what? Two of them, after that, that's back to back three collection log items. But not on the third one. Oh my god, Black Plate Body Age 5. I think these are all like the same rarity, so I don't think it's like this is more rare than anything else. But uh, wow, we are getting a lot of collection log items right after that Willow Composite Bow. I did actually get a bronze full MT as well, but I missed recording it for some reason. I'm dumb, I guess. But uh, we have 10 more to go, the 10 last. And in my goblin video where I got the capo skulls, I actually got it on the second to last one. So what we're going to do is we're going to spam click these last 10. It's kind of a tradition on YouTube, I guess, for old school RuneScape. A bunch of YouTubers do it, so I might as well jump and do the same thing. So let's go ahead and do it, and let's see if we get any collection of pop-ups or any of the valuable capes. So let's go ahead and do it. Spam click all the 10, and we get a collection log item, Pantaloons. Is that a rare item? Like, really rare or something? Let's have an examine. It is worth 15k. Probably not, uh, not that rare. Now, let's see how many collection log slots we actually unlocked with this. We started with 42, and we ended at 56. We got 14 collection log items. You need 131. Yeah, completing this is a massive challenge. I can imagine it being thousands of easy clues to be able to complete this. Probably more than that, like maybe even in the 10th, 10 thousands, because getting these is like really, really rare. So I guess uh, sometime maybe in the future we will get this through a bunch of other drop rate challenges, but uh, that will take some time. I went ahead and sold everything that I got from the easy clue scrolls and this time I kept literally everything and we got 2.2 million back from that and that means I lost around 8 million making this video but we still have one small saving grace if I can complete this master clue scroll and it's worth over 8 million then I didn't lose any money so let's go and try and do it. That is the last glimmer of hope dying I need to go to the north wing of the farming guild and I'm only 71, so even with a boost I could not reach 85, which is the requirement for that. So that is the second Master Clue Scroll I will have to drop. And that means we are pretty much done with the video. I would like to say a massive thank you to all of you guys for watching the videos, liking, subscribing, all the good stuff. We recently hit 20,000 subscribers, and if you look down, we probably already got a couple of hundred above that, which is very nice to see. And I kind of want to lose a challenge soon. We've won like the last four challenges or something. It's kind of crazy. And I do want to do a giveaway soon because I like giving away money. It's very fun for uh, me to give away money and seeing you guys actually enjoy it. But for now, we won both of the challenges. And I have some really nice challenges in store that could be potential massive giveaways. So I hope you will enjoy those future videos. But until next time, guys, take care.